you are clapping for Jesus, make it louder. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let me thank our leader, our father, and let me thank our mommy. I don't know how many Yoruba you know, but Tommy, you're back big more low in your call. Yeah, I mean, Thank you very much. God bless you, sir. Uh, I don't know where you got all this, that title from. My name is Assistant Brother for sure. Pastor Sunday, the Lord bless you, sir. It is well with you. From glory to glory, God will lead you and continue to move you forward. And our mommy, mommy of Koshe, God bless you. Thank you, sir. For all my leaders here, thank you. The Almighty God will bless you. What kind of amen is that now? <laughs> Lift up your hands to God and just worship the name of the Lord. Tell him, I love you if you love him. Appreciate him if you do. Because he's the mighty, almighty. He's the unchangeable changer. Mighty God is his name. Oh, we worship you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord. Yahweh, we worship you. Eh, Shaddai, we worship you. Unchangeable changer, we worship you. Oh, Lord, the Lord of time. Time, oh God, we say thank you. Blessed be your name. We honor you, Lord. We magnify you. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, our Maker. Thank you, unchangeable changer. Oh, blessed be your name. Thank you, Father. We worship you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Lift up your mighty, uh, your right hand and say, my father, my father. In life and destiny, chronicle my name among those people who will receive unprecedented miracle. I receive my unprecedented miracle. I receive my unprecedented wonders. Put it upon me now in the name of Jesus. Turn that to prayer. Let every impossibility of decades become testimony. Let the mighty hand of God rest upon me. Shanga Bolo Satahaga. Just tell him, Lord, I know that you are capable. Lord, thank you. Thank you. We worship you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Lift up your right hand and say, My Father, my Father. Make my life blessing attractive. Make my family miracle attractive. Put me in the company of the unstoppable. Put me among the champion. In the name of Jesus, I receive anointing for championship. I receive anointing to be unstoppable. Lord, let it be my turn. Lord, make me and document my name. Oh Lord, among the unstoppable champion. Document everyone here. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I just saw a very black, a very white cloud on someone here. Uh, and I asked God, what is the meaning of this? The Lord said to that fellow here that that particular time you are waiting for to be showcased into the new glory it is this particular day I'm bringing it to fulfillment what a mighty God we serve what a mighty God we serve heaven and earth adore 
Even angels bow before Him. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. We are serving Him. What a mighty God we serve. Glorious I am, unchangeable changer, the Son of God, the Son of Man, the one who has the verdict of life. When you close, it is permanent. When you open, it is permanent. No one dare you, and Lord, there is nothing that is impossible with you. Thank you that in the mystery of your of your of your of your godhead you dwell in heaven your word is exposed to and you dwell in our heart we say thank you to you thank you ever living thank you thank you thank you oh god for the miracle you have done in our life before thank you for the miracle you will do now to you be glory lord accept our thanks in the name of jesus father we have come to meet with you Lord, we have not come to see any man. A man is nothing without the God of the man. And therefore, Lord, as we open up our heart today, that which God can do in our life and destiny, do in the name of Jesus Christ. No one here under the sound of my voice in the house and those who are watching my television or those who are watching afar off, God of heaven, none of them will miss their miracle. Whatever it is that have stand our ways over the years and months, that doesn't allow us to go get into the next level, that which have been standing our way as a barrier, today you will terminate that in the name of Jesus. Every secret affliction, secret oppression, secret problem, hear the voice of the Lord. Lose your grip and disappear in the name of Jesus. Let miracle find expression in our life. The man of God in this house, his family, you are specially blessed. God will anoint your head fresh. Those who stand with you, God will stand with them. Those who oppose you, God will oppose them. And every minister supporting this man of God and his family, God give you heavenly support. Where others are stranded, you will move forward. Where others are stagnated, you will have speed. Those who say amen, get triple blessings. I stand in this altar with a sense of responsibility. I have no wisdom. I have nothing. But you have everything. Therefore, take from something else of you and let oh God come and overrule the nothingness of me to bless everyone in the house including myself in the name of Jesus thank you eternal father spirit of the living God this is your own service take over and get the glory in Jesus mighty name we pray and let the people of God say amen Shout hallelujah. I want you to turn to your neighbor and wave them that your miracle will not miss you in the name of Jesus. I want to appreciate the choir for all your rendition. Please take your seat. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Once again, I want to thank our father in the house and our mommy, the almighty God, we bless you. In the name of Jesus. Mark chapter 2, 1 to 11. Mark chapter 2, 1 to 11. Again, he entered into Capernaum after some days, and it was noised 
that he was in the house. And straightway, many were gathered together in so much there was no room to receive them. No, not so much about the door. And they preached the word unto them, and they come, and they come unto him, bringing one sick of palsy, which was born by four. And when they could not come near unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken it up, they let down the bed whereon the sick of palsy lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. But there was certain of the scribes sitting there and reasoning in their heart, why does this man speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sin but God? And immediately when Jesus perceived this in the spirit that they so reason with, within themselves, he said unto them, why reason ye these things in your hearts? Whether it is easier to say to the sick of mercy that sin be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise, take up thy bed and walk, but that ye may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sin. He said to the man that is sick of mercy, I say unto thee, Arise, and take up thy bed and go thy way unto thy house. Let me add verse 12. And immediately he arose, took up the bed, and went forth before them all, in so much that they were amazed and glorified God, saying, We never saw it this version. The Lord blessed the reading and the hearing of his word. My turn is now. My miracle is now. My turn is now. My miracle is now. Life, as we study in the open heaven this morning, operates in season. And when your season comes, no, 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 no obstacle can stand on the way. But you need to have an understanding of the time so that you can key into it. But let me say to you, as many of you are born again, you have no reason to remain on the same spot. Because what is packaged in you has the ability to transform. The Bible said in John 1, 12, John chapter 1, verse 12, as many as believe him, he gave them power to become to become like their God. To become what God has capacity to do. To operate at the frequency that God operates on. A man who started as a problem. A man who started as a body. A man who has no capacity to work. He ended up becoming a testimony. How much more you? Your time is now. Amen. Your miracle is now. Amen. Don't just come to church to make the pastor happy. Come to tap into the blessing. Do you have faith? You have it for yourself. You remember? In that book of Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. So Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. And in the book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 38. Hebrews 10 38. He said the righteous will live by his own faith. Not the faith of the pastor. Not the faith of the person, person praying for you. You have no reason to remain in poverty. You have no reason to be sick because he paid the price. Jesus was in a place just as we have late comers. Some people are just coming in now. It's usual. It has been like that. As it was before, so shall it be. What without end? And by the time they came in, just your church is big enough, as I suppose. They have nowhere to sit. And more often than not, those who have bigger problems, they are the people who don't come to church earlier. And they are supposed to be in the, in the forefront. 
So when they came, the whole place was packed. They talked to themselves. Mm, there's something we need to do. Once there is a way, there is always a way. There is no obstacle anywhere. The obstacle that exists is the one you thought and the one you believe is an obstacle. Because in Jeremiah 32, verse 27, Jeremiah 32, 27, he said, there is nothing too hard for him. Nothing. So they came late and the friend said, our effort must not be wasted. They opened the roof. How they were able to locate where Jesus stood, no only God knows. But they must, must have put their professional, uh, professional knowledge into, into action. And Jesus saw their faith and said, okay, come on, come up. Take your bed. Don't become a body. There are a few things I need to bring to your notice from that story. How do I operate when my time of miracle comes? How do I connect to the miracle of God when my season comes? Number one, you must know and you must have an understanding of your destiny. The day you are born is good. But there are people who are born to lie. But they didn't have anything to offer. Methuselah was one of them. The day you are born is good. But the day you discover destiny of your life. The day you are able to identify your destiny. And it's not too late to identify your destiny. This paralytic man and his friend thought there's something that should happen. God has not put in his book for you to be sick. It's not in your destiny. He said in Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. The thought of peace and not of evil to give you a hope and expected end. Discover. I don't know whether I'm constrained because uh, thank you very much. So, the day you know what is written in the book of God for you is the day you need to know you are not supposed to be a failure. You are created a winner. I am not a biologist. But we are told that when my mother and my father intend to have me, my father releases over 100 millions of eggs and they only need one to fertilize one for my mother. So I am not one in one million. I am one in 100 million. I came in as a winner. There's no way I could lose. And that is your own story too. Discover that you are a winner. In Genesis 1, 26, 27, 28. Genesis 1, 26, 27, 28. God said, let us make man in our image. What is the image of God? God is a winner. God is a ruler. God is the most high. God is sovereign. Nothing is as great as him. No one can conquer him. No one can defeat him. Your provision part just, just said, what I believe in, what God cannot do does not exist. God said, hey, I have a problem. Even me, as we ask him, he said, no, me, even me. No. You need to discover who you are. You are like God. If God is your father, why do you operate below, below him? If you are the sons of the most high, why are you the most low? 
You need to know. See, there was a man called Jacob. Jacob was running from pillar to post thinking that only by defrauding his brother he could make it. But he ran away. But what he ran away from was catching up with him. He called his brother and he went to a chief called man called Laban. He was cheated severally. After some time, he has to be alone. Give me that Genesis 32. Let me pick it up from verse 24. Genesis 32. Give it to us. Genesis 32. Now, the Bible said, and Jacob was left alone. Give it to us. Where is the guy? I will lay hand on you. And Jacob was left alone. You are too crowded to be lifted. All these asking people, how are you doing it? They don't have the answers. He was left alone. He rest soon. Facing what matter? Look at what happened. Even the guy who he's wrestling with said, leave me. And after some time, he said, what is your name? He said, my name is Jacob. And he said, hold on. How can you be coming to city of light? And you are full of darkness. How can you come to this church where the truth is being preached and your life is not transformed? As if God doesn't have capacity to solve problem again. You need to know what God packaged in your destiny. In case you don't know, let me try and help you. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 and 30. Deuteronomy chapter 28 1 and 30. Look at what he said. That guy, I will lay hand on you. Please, I'm not patient when it comes to this matter. Deuteronomy chapter 28, 1. Give us verse 1, then you can jump to 13. Where are you now? Now, he said, if you hearken diligently, Deuteronomy 28, verse 1, first, then jump to 13, verses 1 and 13. And it shall come to pass, if thou hearken diligently to the voice of of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command this day. The Lord, we do what? Stop struggling to put yourself on the top. There is a covenant of being head. Look, he said, we are still in verse 1, young the man there. You must identify yourself so that I can lay hand on you. Now, give us, verse, we are still in verse 1. Command this is to observe. Please give us verse 1, verse 1. Now, he said, the Lord we, God we said the on high, above the nations. Above, I am not an English major. I have a common sense English. They use my vernacular to teach me English. That's why it's not refined as a Pastor Sunday. They use vernacular. I said, God will set thee above all nations of the earth. You are not a local champion. People should not just look at you and say, you look local. They are the one who didn't know. You are a global icon. Yeah. Above nations. See, in Jeremiah chapter 1, we are coming to verse 13. Jeremiah chapter 1, look at verse 4 and 5. He said, Jeremiah 1, 4 and 5. He said, the word of Lord came unto me, say, the word of God has capacity to move. And the word of God moved at the speed of light. More than the speed of light. Now verse 5 said, Before I formed you, God, can you
you see the English of God? Before I formed thee in the belly. So you are formed as where God planted you in the belly. Before thou camest forth, out of the womb, I sanctified thee. I look at it. I ordained. That is the past tense of the word of God. Nobody can deordain you. I ordained thee a prophet. See it again. Unto where? Those of you who are tribalistic, nepotic, uh, racist, uh, nationalistic, shame. Oh, what did I just say? For nations. Nigeria is one of the 265 nations and territory in the world. You are only Nigeria. We are Nigeria. You are a local champion. Get rid of that mentality. I ordain you to nations. God did it. You need to discover. You need to discover. A lot of people are working today. Not that they are not born again. Not that they don't speak in tongues. But they have never discovered. The people discover our brothers will not be sick. Jesus is available. Number two. You need to see your destination. Read that 13 alone because, because of my time. I will stop whenever my whenever I want the time. God, I can't say everything today. You need to see your destination. There is something that God destined you to be. You are not a problem. You are a solution. You are not a question. You are an answer. You are not a papa. You are blessed and I have a favor. Amen. You are not supposed to be tolerated. You are supposed to be celebrated. Amen. David said in Psalm 139 verse 14. Psalm 139 verse 14. I like that. Somebody said, why do you smile all the time? I said, number one, my teeth is big. My mouth is wide. My face is oblong. Incidentally, I don't want to be like you. Please don't try to be like me. I'm the only one person of my time. You are the only one person of your time. Anyone that looks like you is a photocopy. He looks like you, it's not you. Stop! All this is too short. Is it the one who created you? Because you are too short so that God can put his everlasting hand on you to lift you up. Yeah. Hey, I don't like him. He's a fat person. It's because you are righteous than him. The righteous will be fat and flourish. See, it's thin. Eh? Narrow is the way that lead to life now. <laughs> what are we saying? I will praise thee, for I am fearfully. Somebody say, I don't why are you looking like that? Is am I looking with your own eyes? Am I not supposed to use to look wherever I want to look at? Don't push it away. Where is the guy now? Ah. Put it there. Where? Put it. He said, I, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. So, you are just you. There's something you need to see. Your destination. You need to see it. See this. 
the Lord said to Jeremiah in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 11 look at it we have, we have passed that place I better invite you now and lay hand on you Jeremiah 1 11 <laughs> Jeremiah 1 11 moreover the word of the Lord came to me saying what seest thou hold it he didn't say, what is this? What seest thou? What are you seeing? What seest thou? In Genesis chapter 1 verse 2, Genesis 1 2, God discovered this is darkness. I said, no, 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 no. What I see is light. It isn't say what is this. But what you see. What you see. I don't know how almond tree could come from a dry rod. But that, that was what he saw. In verse 12, he said, we have, we have passed verse 12 of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 12. Now, thank you. Jeremiah chapter 1. Hallelujah. Now, he, I don't know how he could see. It's not what is happening. It's not what others saw. It's not what other people are looking. See in Numbers chapter 13, verse 30 to 33. Numbers 13, 30 to 33. 12 people were sent to spy the land. 12. Two saw possibility. They saw the giant. Then they saw the other thing. Is what you see. There are people who saw themselves as a victim. Congratulations, you are one. Those who see themselves as a winner. Congratulations, you are one. If you see yourself as failure, ha ha. God cannot see for you because your life is not God's life. It's your life. God just dwell in you. What did you see? I can't see dead around me. Mm -mm. COVID 19 is not looking for me. We don't have an agreement. I can't see me running down. Mm -mm. I can't see me be on the bed of affliction. No. All other people may be stranded. Eh, he said, that's people are so proud. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Other people may be stranded, but that is not me. What did you see? Not what is this? And he said, I saw a lot of tree. And God said, you see where? Ten of them said, we can't go. And God said, it's okay. I can't help you. In Numbers 14, 28, Numbers 14, 28, God said, surely, as you sin and declare, I will do unto you. May I humbly say to you, the stage of your life now is what you see thus far. If you want to move forward, your vision must climb to another level. And you don't see with this eye, you see with the mind. What did you see? There are people who are married. It's only after they marry, they discover the husband is not good. The wife is not good. What did you see? What did you see? God said to them, you are the one who said you are not going. Okay. But for you, Caleb, Caleb and Joshua, <laughs> he said, Caleb and Joshua, they are not like them. In another spirit, check for me, in 14, where he said, is it verse 2? Where he said Caleb or 12? Where he said Caleb is not like that. Another spirit, a different spirit was in, in him. Please see a good
good vision. Your vision will make you visible in life. Everybody before David came, they said we can't confront Goliath. He came in and said, no, I'm bringing you down. And they brought him down. Your vision is what will make you visible. We have pitiable lawyer, frustrated architect, unprogressive doctor, redundant, abandoned engineers, closed shop teachers. No profession hold any future for anyone except people who are connected to God. It is a waste to wake up early in the morning and come late to eat the bread of sorrow. Psalm 127 verse what now? Psalm 127 verse what now? <laughs> Give it to us. Psalm, 100, Psalm 127 verse what? Now, you need to get straight where you are going. You need to see clearly. See clearly. Number, th number three. Or what numbers are we? Number three. You need to have good friends. There are people who are too they are too pepperish. Give me another word, sir. Give me another word. They are hot tempered. They are too sensitive. They are too touchy. They are too unfriendly friend. They came to church about 30 or one hour ago. They have never said hello to the next fellow. Even when they say hello to the hello. This is a man trusting God for wife. And somebody is sitting next to them also trusting God for husband. And the one said, mm. she has prayed at home, he has prayed at home, that the man I'm sitting with today, oh God, let it be the right man. Based on the fact that he will behave well. So he said, hello brother. I'm greeting you. Hello. <laughs> Anyone who wants friendship must be friendly himself. There are people who doesn't want anyone to come into their space. There are even husband, wicked one, not you. They don't know how to say, I love you to my wife. Say, so, it's natural now. You know the way I'm raised. We need to send you back to the farm where you came from. <laughs> like the city. Come to think about you went to school. You are referring to your parents who didn't go to any school. And to talk about it, they don't have one wife. They have three wives. You have only one. Uh, me, I can't say it. Uh, it doesn't even write with my culture. Which culture? Culture of the Bible. Can't say I love you to my uh, to my wife. They can't even show them their bank account. They will now switch to this philosophy of my own father. Which I just say when I got married. Oh, Billy, you say, you know what? <laughs> Stupid philosophy. This is a woman he will sleep with on bed. Nude. Nude! Let it now come to paper. <laughs> Common paper written in China by Freedom Academy from Nigeria. Is that not stupidity? I say it with humility. Thank God for good women. The life of every husband is in the hand of his wife. 
one meal is enough to finish you. I know there are no murderers in the house. Did I have a yes then? Damn money. How can you do things for crying aloud? And there are wicked women. Wicked woman who will build out and their and their husband will not know. I'm too stupid. Ah, what did I say? Your husband is my Lord. The commander in chief of his house, the president, and the decree, decree, I mean, decree holder. I mean, eh? You're a graduate, I'm a graduate. In fact, I have good work that here. It doesn't nullify the Bible. You are to nourish him. You are to service him. Is that me? Me. No wonder you are going through turbulence. You must be friendly. Listen. There are two categories of friendship. Pillar and caterpillar. Pillar will carry you. Pillar sustain durability. Carry body. Caterpillar. <laughs> so when you are selecting your friend, the friend of this man, they carry him. Whoa! They climb the roof. Where you are today, you are an extension of someone. Where you are going to be tomorrow, somebody has to help you. You also help somebody. The friend carry him to the top. Not only that, number what are we number four? They, they break. Is it break or broke? They broke barrier. Is it broke or break? <laughs> Say, let me hear you. <laughs> Life is about breaking barriers. Only you, you know where the shoe pinch is. All this looking for prayer contractor doesn't work. Allow the word of God to set to in your life. In Isaiah chapter 40 verse 8, Isaiah 48, the grass wither, the flower fade, the word of our God shall stand forever. Isaiah 55, 11 and 12. Isaiah 55, 11 and 12. Let me see one of the verse. Now, so shall my word be that go out or go out with that word, that go forth out of my mouth, it shall not return. The word of God is a hammer that breaketh the rock into pieces. Is my word not like hammer? You need to break barrier. Nobody will help you. Even the person who is smiling at you may not want you to go further. But you need to stand and break barrier. And this is where for the people when they call prayer, they are looking for people who will pray for them. Did you offend your father to hire a lawyer to help you talk to your father? Why will you engage the lawyer called pastor to help you pray? Why? The people, they have broke barriers. There are barriers in life that will not allow you to go. I still remember like yesterday, a sister in our church, the people, the man they work with, doctor, whatever, whatever said, 
I have to sleep with you before you move to the next level. The woman said, I'm a married person. Look at my legs. I mean to a married. One, two, three query or so. One, two query. And the third query will be the last one. And on that day, the doctor said, if you don't allow me to sleep with you, can't yourself out of this. And she said, I'm, I'm ready to lose my job rather than to have you of me to sin against God. She went pack her load as she was going something told her will you leave the person like that? She took the dust from the ground. She said God I have done everything I know how to do but this man have refused to let me go. He wanted to defy me. Lord and you said, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. I close my eyes and I throw this dust to the air. Let Dr. Do and so be thrown away from this organization. You are the son of the most high. You have bad it of life. Job 22.28 said, Job 22.28 said, Thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4. Where you have the word of a king, how do you operate as a pauper, as a beggar? Don't allow any last word of the enemy to come over you. Let somebody say back to sender. Say it loud and clear. Causes. Say it loud and clear. Retrenchment. Redundancy. Loss. Back to sender. When anybody say anything to you you don't like, back it to sender. Within two weeks, the man committed atrocity and he was dismissed. Every enemy of your destiny, whether they are major or minor, I close my eyes. They will go for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Be ready to break barrier. He that dig at a pit will fall into it. Anyone who remove edges sharpened with bite right from day on John the Baptist the kingdom of heaven sovereign violence and those who are violent they take it in by force the women of our warfare they are not carnal they are mighty through God to the pulling down of the stronghold of the enemy break barrier how can you come to church and somebody is chanting and you don't chant the, the Bible is the most enchanting book. Have you not read about, you have not heard about Mama Redeem of Water? Mama Redeem of Water. The masquerade cost her in the market. They said, oh, Nikki J. He told them, three of you are Nikki Eta in Jesus' name. It's causes versus causes. The head died that day. The second died. The third one carried his children and said, to the king, I said, there is a woman they call her mama redeem of water. The mama redeem in the market. He calls us. They carry the woman. The woman said, I don't. The king call her. Do you know them? I, said, I don't know them. I said, do you remember the three masculine? They said, I remember them. Oh, they knew They came to carry. I pay my time. They came to carry my rice and beans. They cost me. I cost. They cost me. I return back. Mm. I return back the courses. The king said, what they say? He said, they said, me on Nikki J. I told them they, they want Nikki at Arun Kojesu. He said, two have died. Hey, he said, So the other one back, he said, I am the third one. Let me die. He said, you can, 
You will not die on one condition. Give your life to Christ. The man is a pastor in church today. You are now, that woman cannot read Bible. She cannot read Bible, but she can read Bible. But you can read Bible, but you don't read it. You're only coming to church. Oh God, oh God. Even when you don't know what the word of God says, did I speak? Uh, did I just speak vernacular? <laughs> Break barrier! Break barriers! That's what he didn't want to do. When I was a young engineer, somebody, thank you, sir. You are blessed, in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody said, he won. He won. Only a man that will him. I said, pull around, you call over anywhere, Peku. Oh, who called? <coughs> Only call no matter what. I said, die. I said, the one who called is the one who called dead. Whatsoever you wish me, I wish you quickly. His name, they call his name Mama Gioko. Only a dad. I'd like to move as his horse. He had We. He said, turn. How he managed? You see, some of the words you play around with, you have to be careful. Because in First John 4, 4, 1 John 4, 4, it said, Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And if God be for you. So don't just say, I don't have anything. You have something. Our sex may differ. You may be a woman, but there is no female Holy Ghost. We receive the same Holy Ghost. We, we receive equal portion. Let me mention one more so that I can close. But, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, God, give me time. You should give me my time. Take. Now, <laughs> and number five. Number five, you must be rightly positioned. The rightly positioned in, in front of Jesus. Don't be anti progress positioned. Your positioning in life will determine your possession. In Mark chapter 10, verses 46 to 50, a man called Bartimaeus was by the roadside begging. And suddenly, Jesus was passing. And the man said, Who is there? They say it's Jesus. Show the kids out of Nazareth. He was positioned. He received blessing. In Acts of the Apostle, chapter 3, 1 to 8. Act 3, 1 to 8. A man by the beautiful gate was well positioned. Where are you? You have been in this church for two, three years. You are not a worker. You have been in this church for quite a while. You didn't engage to do something. He said, let my people go that they may serve me. He doesn't deliver you so that you can just sit. You are the part to ask. Be rightly positioned. What are you doing for the Lord? When last have you done something meaningful for God? Thank God for what you gather in life. But do you know they can't stand the test of eternity. You can boast about how many houses you have built, how many cars you have, chains of businesses you have. But you can't talk, you can't tell yourself about when you will pack up. Why don't you do something meaningful that God himself will open the book what, what have you done in the last two months, last two years, that you know in the heart of your knowing, I have done this for God? Oh, hallelujah. Our church, city of lights. Hallelujah. With Pastor Sunday and for sure, oh, that man is powerful. Finish. Can somebody recap what I've said? I want to close. Number one. Number one.
number two. Because there are three S in the school of possessing your possessor. You see it, you say it, and you seize it. Okay, number three. And your wife, your husband could be the number one. Number four. Break barriers. Nobody must threaten you and go score free. If they do like this to them, do like this twice. If anybody ever said anything negative, tell them, Eleru lo leru. He that did get the beat for me, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no how Goliath said I will kill David and David said you are already a god that die in Jesus name he said today I will kill you your word has power you can't get to the next level without your word man everyday I dandelions my wife I sweet lies her but who you mama John Mama, me. go and meet your mommy in the farm or wherever you see. <laughs> daddy! I told my wife, I'm not daddy. Oh. I am sweetie, honey, sugar, empty. You must be a good friend. It was, you know, this woman, you criticize your husband. Hey, hey, hey. Say something sweet. Oh, darling, you are lovely. Thank you for that money. Thank you for taking care of your children. Is he not his children? But he wants to know that you appreciate him. Or you, you are just demanding. Hey, you have not done that. You have not done that. Hey. Give me money. Are you the owner of the money? Number four, number four, we are number four. <laughs> Repeat number four. And number five. Find something to do in the house of God. Today, if you have not been born again, give God a chance. If you are born again, there is a barrier in your life. Don't stare God. Don't make God feel as if he has problem. Tell him, I am your child. I refuse to live in this problem. 30 something years ago, they told me I have few months to live. But I refuse to die. If you refuse to die, nobody will bury you. Death is an appointment. What do you do with appointment? You can shift it, you can reschedule. So I rescheduled the day I will die. Somebody said, that's no problem. No, that's the Bible. That's the Bible. I will not die and leave to declare the glory of God. Thank you for saying amen for me, but you, you need to say it. Because it's only what you say with your own mouth, you can get. That's why you have to say two minute prayer, and I'll pray for you, and I will leave the mic with you. But if you are not born again, whether you are here or you are watching me online, give God a chance. Lord, I am yours. And if you have a problem, any type of problem, the Lord who solved multidimensional problem of people, you did he, he did he hate you specially, he loved you specially. So let him know. Why will you get frustrated in life when God is available? Everything you will ever need is documented in his word. Rise up with me, let us pray. Oh God, I surrender my life. I surrender everything. And if you have anything that you want God to know in two minutes, your two minutes is counting. Oh God, help me. I want to, I want, I want to, I want to do that which you are able to do. God of heaven, help me. God of heaven, help me. Oh Lord of heaven, help my life.
One more minute and I will pray. Jesus, mighty name we pray. While we are still bowing our head and closing our heart, uh -oh. I want to employ those people who want to give their life, raise your hand up wherever you are, or you want to dedicate your life. There's no need to deceive God because you can't do, you can't deceive him. In Galatians chapter 6 verse 7, be not deceived. Galatians 6 7. God is not mock. So he knows all things. He's the omni science God. Raise that hand up and I'm about to pray now. If you are there and if you are watching through television or listening through radio, let God hear you. Thank you. Just raise it up. I'm about to pray. Father, behold these hands raised. You know the purpose of raising it. Let the hand of God touch all the hands. Raise in the house. Raise where they are watching. In the name of Jesus. I pray that every little, little foxes that destroy the vine shall be totally banished in their life in the name of Jesus. And I ask that this particular day will be a day of new beginning. A day of new beginning. In the name of Jesus. Everyone say amen. Iniquity will not be found in their tent. Everyone under the sound of my voice, whatever may be the need in their life, whatever may be the issues that they are going through, let today be the time in the name of Jesus Christ. Your miracle will find expression in your life. Your miracle will find expression in your life. Your miracle will find expression in your life. Every evil enchantment, every evil power that are holding you down or that people are premeditating or doing against your life or business or your family, all will backfire in the name of Jesus. Today, a new chapter of a new beginning. No one here and those who are here in afar will miss their testimony. In the name of Jesus. And I pray that whatsoever is the request you have, God meet with you at the point of your name. God healed you. Heal your home. Heal your businesses. Heal your vision. Everything that is negative to you we banish it in the name of Jesus Christ. For the pastorate from glory to glory. Every family from glory to glory. Every business from glory to glory. All students in house from glory to glory. Housewife from glory to glory. Husband from glory to glory. Government worker from glory to glory. Personal business from glory to glory. Student from glory to glory. Children from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus. And for our building project that is about to commence. Speed of God in the name of Jesus. Thank you eternal father. And when the road call up in heaven, may we be able to reign with God. Thank you Lord. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Well, thank you very much. I didn't see this one. It may be a good idea to put that thing under and put red. So now, I want to thank you again, Daddy and Mommy, and for all our ministers. But if you are there, you got the card, please follow. If they give me your name, I'll put your name where Daddy Joe said I should be putting my own prayer request. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Now, now, I have this very, very urgent thing in my spirit to pray on your offering. I don't know what you have done, but I'll pray on it and leave the mic. 
Now, let me say this one. Prayer doesn't bring money home. Did you just ask? Ah, uh, the organist. Prayer doesn't bring money. As long as the act remains, seed and harvest time. Oh God, give me money. Please keep your mouth. Which currency does he have? He doesn't have it. What he have, he give you. You exchange the beauty, the change of the earth. So lift up your own offering. Let me pray on it. Now, I, and I need to pray because I have a strong feeling that there is somebody expecting a breakthrough that must not fail. And so God has extended his blessing to all of us because of that fellow. So let's let's let me pray. Father in heaven, you asked me to do this. And I'm doing it. It may be for my sake. It may be for the sake of someone. But every hand lifted up. Every hand lifted up. You will never know lack anymore. In life and destiny, you will have money in major currencies of the world. The money you never solicited for. Business you never solicited for. They will bring it to you and you will make multiple profits in the name of Jesus. Your hand will carry blessings. Sorrow banished from your money. Sickness banished from your money. Lack banished from your home. And in the kingdom of heaven, we will reign with him and receive our reward. Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Once again, sir, thank you. God bless you.